Lesson 12.4b, using experimental probability to make a qualitative prediction. A prediction is something we reasonably expect to happen in the future. A qualitative prediction helps us decide which situation is more likely in general. Qualitative data is data that deals with qualities. It's not precise. There's more variance of the data how soft, how sturdy, how delicious, etc. Smaller, more focused examples are needed. It's based on quality. Qualitative data may vary. Quality of a manufactured product, quality of appointments as cancellations, quality of an email list for accuracy. In the next video, 12.4c, we'll discuss quantitative data, which deals with quantities, numbers, hard facts, like how much money have you saved, how old is the roof on your house. It's numbers and facts. It's quantity. For this lesson, we're going to worry about quality. So for the quality of a manufactured product, how many have defects? For appointments, how many are going to actually show up compared to how many are cancellations. And for the quality of an email list, how accurate is it? How many are going to come back as the email address was wrong from the list? A dental office records data and concludes that on average, 6% of patients call to cancel their appointments per week. The office manager predicts 17 appointments will be canceled out of the 260 total appointments during next week. Is the prediction reasonable? We have method one using a proportion and method two use a percent equation. For the proportion we have six percent that's six hundredths. It's going to be equal to some amount that will be the reasonable prediction over the 260 total appointments. We have a ratio set up, 6 hundredths to x to 60ths. We think 100 times some number is equal to 260. That would be 2.6. We multiply the numerator by the same thing, 2.6, and we get 15 and 6 tenths. That means 15 and 6 tenths out of 260 would be the number of cancellations. From method two, using a percent equation, we write the 6% as a decimal, 0 0.06, and we need to find 6% of 260. We think of of as multiplication, remember? So we're going to do 0 0.06 times 260, and it's going to equal x to solve it algebraically. We get 15 and 6 tenths for x. The prediction, 17, is reasonable, but it's a little high because it actually came out to be 15 and 6 tenths. So we found that according to an average of 6% of patients canceling their appointments, the prediction for canceling is 15 and 6 tenths of 260 appointments. Now, six, since 15 and 6 tenths represents the number of patients, people, that are going to show up for their appointment, the number should be a whole number. It's people. It's patients. So we can't show six-tenths of a person. This figure can be rounded up to 16. So we can say 16 people. 6% Six is an experimental probability because it's based on collected data from past events, but it's not guaranteed. We need to make sure we set up the proportion correctly. The percent ratio should have the numeral part of the given percent in the numerator and 100 in the denominator. The second ratio should have the unknown x as the numerator and the total number as the denominator. Let's try some higher order thinking. A telemarketing company records data and concludes that, on average, four-tenths of a percent of their sales calls produce an actual sale. The manager predicts that 40 sales will be made out of 9,170 phone calls this week. Is this prediction reasonable? Now take a look at this percentage. 
This is not 4%. This is 4 tenths of a percent. We think 4 tenths of a percent. We take away the percentage sign to turn it into a decimal, and we move the decimal two hops to the left. So now the decimal's there. That means we have 0 0.004 as our decimal. We have four thousandths. It's four-tenths of one percent, which means it's less than one percent. Method one, using a proportion, we write four thousandths, and it's going to equal x over 9,170. We have to think, 1,000 times something is 9,170. Well, that would be 9.17. We need to multiply the numerator by the same thing, and we get 36 and 68 hundredths. For method two, using a percent equation, we have 0 0.004 so 4 thousandths of 9,170, we multiply them, and they'll equal x algebraically, and we need to find the value of x. We multiply them together and get 36 and 68 hundredths for x. So the manager predicted 40 sales. The prediction 40 is reasonable, but it's a little high because it's actually going to be closer to 37, right? because we can round this up to 37. So because of this 4 tenths of a percent, we had to write our ratio, our proportion, as 4 thousandths instead of hundredths. If a business can predict the number of appointment cancellations they may have, they will know roughly how many more appointments can be made for that time period. If there's 260 appointments for the week and 16 cancel on average, well, they can safely book 270 appointments without overbooking their schedule. That would be an extra 10 to make up for the 16 that may cancel. We're finished with this lesson. We're moving on to the last part, making a quantitative prediction. Have a wonderful day and join me for the next lesson. Bye.